Hi, this is Greg Hughes from 90 Second Website Builder. In this video, we're going to do a little bit of some advanced stuff. Now, don't be too afraid of the word advanced because in 90 Second Website Builder, even advanced stuff is pretty simple. But this is going to open up a whole new world for you if you want to go here. And it's a lot of fun. So we're going to talk about events. And I'm going to do several videos that use the events function. And so we'll just do them one at a time to make it a little bit easier for you to follow. In this particular demo, we're going to use events with some text and a shape. But to get started, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my interface a little bit. You'll notice I'm going to move the camera over here. You'll notice that I've opened up a blank document in 90 Second and have my Site Manager and my Properties Manager. But there's another window I'd like to view. And uh, I'm going to go over here and get that. I'm moving the camera so you can see where I get that. And that's right here under View. And I want to use the Objects Manager. That's just going to make my job a little bit easier for this demonstration. Now, just to show you, I can use the Object Manager window out here. Or I can go put it in its spot here if I want to. And keep it over onto the side with the rest of these. But because I'm making a video for you, I'm going to keep it out here so it's a little bit easier to keep on our screen. And let's move the camera back over here. Okay, so this is going to show the objects that we're working with. Right now I have a blank canvas, so there's no objects. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get the text tool, and I'm going to make a piece of text here. Capitalize show. And I'm going to get another, I'm going to copy this and paste it, save myself some time. And this is going to say, click here to hide an image, All right? So in this project, what I'm going to try and do is use the events tool to uh, allow my user to click on a link that shows an image and then hide that image by clicking down here. So here's the text we're going to use. And as you can see, the object manager has updated. I've got text number one and text number two. Now let's make an object or a shape, the, an image that will show. The way I'm going to do it, and I can use an image, I can import an image from my desktop, but just for fun, let's go to the drawing tools and get the shape tool. And let's just make a shape. I'm not going to use the box. Let's make it more interesting. Let's go down and get what uh, they call a talk bubble. Uh, here's a good one. We'll use this talk bubble. Oh, but I want to change the color. Let's make it more interesting. Let's make it kind of a bright yellow. And let's put a border around it. And make it a little fatter border. There we go. Make it a little bit more animated looking. This is the image that I want to show when my user clicks on this link. And this will hide the image when they click here. OK. And by the way, we can put text inside this shape if we want to. Maybe we might want to offer some information. Let's make the font be a little bigger. All right, so here's the shape or the image I want to have show. So how do we do that? Well, it's time to use the event function. Here's how that works with text. First, I'm going to turn this text into a hyperlink. I do that by selecting it and going up to the hyperlink tool. I click that and it brings up my properties. You'll notice the tab called Events. We're not going to link this to any page or any website or any of these. We're not going to use any of that. We're just going to use an event. So I go to Event. I'm going to create a new event. So of course, I would click Add. And I presented with several options. First, I need to decide how I want to trigger the event. And there are several. In my case, I'm just going to use the On Click event. That means when the user clicks on this particular text, something will happen called an action. Well, what do I want that action to be? Well, in my case, I want when they click to show a particular object. I can hide an object, move an object, do all these other things. In this case, we're going to show an object. Well, what object do I want to show? Well, that's called my target. I want to show shape one, which is my little talk bubble. And we click OK. And you can see I've now got an event associated with this hyperlink. It basically says, on click, or when this link is clicked, show shape one. Simple enough. So let's say OK. And that part's done. 
But I also have to program this to hide the image. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to select it, turn it into a link. But instead of linking it internally or to a website, I'm just going to use the events. I'm going to add a new event that says when this is clicked, in other words, on click, I want to hide a particular object, this object called shape. OK. And I say OK. So let's get everything in place. So we'll put this down here. We'll put this here. We'll make it so that this talk bubble comes right up next to the image like that. OK, so theoretically what should happen when I publish or when I preview is I should be able to click this link to show the talk bubble and click this link to hide it. I'm still not done and I'll show you why. Let's preview. Because you'll notice that when I preview the site, that talk bubble's already showing. So that's really not very interesting if I say click here to show it, if it's already showing. Let's see if the hide works. If I click here to hide, eh, it does, it hides it. And if I click here to show, it shows it. Well, that's great, except I want to start off with this already hidden. And as you can see, that didn't happen. It started off showing. So let's add some more programming. Here's how we do that. It's very simple. I simply select the object. I go to my object manager, and I can make this object not visible. This object is called shape1, just by simply deselecting that. As you can see, it's not visible. It's still part of the project. It's just not visible. Now, when I preview F5, here's how the website looks. It starts off invisible. And when I click Show, Hide, it's working. So that's a simple way to use the Events function. And in other videos, we'll talk about some of those other features. But that's a simple way to start using the Events function.